on, Did you get a ping here? I mean, we can go all the way to the corner, but that's annoying as fuck. Hold it down for a sec. Normal. Yeah, let's make it look like we're... Oh, I actually just re I heard it. Yep, here it goes. Ping. Woo, it's working. There we go. Oh, we are now officially in the cone. I can't even close this ping right uh, now. 245 meters. Wait, do that again? Sorry. I'm just like, a, I'm just being cinematic there goes. here. Yeah, we're about 240 meters. That's awesome. Welcome to Hack5, my name is Darren Kitchen, and on this dose of Techno Lust, we are about to sneeze, so I'm gonna stop for a sec. Techno Lust, I am standing here in front of the Alameda County Courthouse with none other than MG and Dade, and today we are. <laughs> We're doing a Wi Fi shootout. We're doing a little Android hacking and a little keystroke injection, and they're all tying together. How far away are we now that we are at the Alameda County Courthouse? Let's check. From that building right uh, there. 346 meters. We've got a parabolic antenna and a Wi-Fi pineapple with a special Pine AP configuration pointed straight down this street. So what do you say? We kind of set this up, head down there and see what kind of a shootout we can get. Let's do it. Yeah. Skaters be skating. What's that noise, Darren? Pineapples be pineapplin'. Yeah, what's up, what's up with your phone, man? You wanna explain Hello, that one today? Dave, are you sending me a whole bunch of messages right now? Hands free, baby. <laughs> now, done, right? Uh, Dave's phone. Dave's phone. <laughs> yep. All right. uh, and it's gonna type ping and hit enter? Yeah. Let's see these messages. Let's see. What's all that dinging about? Yeah, Dave's, Dave's sending me uh, pings every like 30 seconds right now from his signal client, it's great. I don't see him typing, he's got his hands in his pockets. How is he? <laughs> Dave's got a uh, OMG cable <laughs> plugged into his phone. A regular USB-C OMG yes. cable. Yes. Doing a little keystroke injection on Android. Hey, did you know that? Did you know that Android phones don't really care? <laughs> They're like, oh cool, a keyboard, jaywalking. That's what there you do go. in Oakland. <laughs> Optimize those antennas really well, so we're testing them out. And one of the really cool things about the OMG cable is it's an officially licensed Ducky Script device that actually takes advantage of the language that we've created with USB Rubber Ducky as it does keystroke injection. It's so simple anyone can learn it in like two minutes, but extends on it, which I love, because then it becomes a really cool, fun, collaborative project where when MG was developing this and he's like, hey, I want to put in some wireless features we just added that to the language. In fact, I actually got to thank you, dude, because I totally stole that. <laughs> or didn't steal that, I put it in the The now has very similar wireless features using a couple of very special DuckyScript commands. Yes. So those commands, basically, we've got, you're going to keep hearing this. You got if present, if not present, wait for present, and wait for not present. So a wait for present, you can search for an SSID or a BSSID if you want to be really specific. So if you put that at the top of the payload, for instance, if present Wi-Fi pineapple, it's going to only run the rest of the payload if that SSID is present. Which means you could do an if not present, it's not going to run the rest of the payload. Exactly. So it's good for, you know, keeping your stuff in scope. If you want to control that payload, make sure it only runs when you're in specific ranges of networks. So this would mean as a pen tester, if I want to litter the conference room with all of these like, you know, iPhone looking charging cables, uh, and I want to make sure that if people accidentally take these home, these malicious cables, and uh, plug them into their computers at home, that we don't oops accidentally, you know, the, the, the kids Chromebook or something, <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly, right? Yeah, so you would then set the if present to the SSID or the MAC address of the wireless networks at the office. Exa exactly. So it kind of geofences it in a way. Exactly. And then the, uh, the wait for, it's just kind of an idle loop where it's sitting there scanning for however long you've told it to scan. Yeah. In this case, we've told it infinite and that's the cable in Dade's pocket. 
That's sitting awesome. there always looking for this SSID to be present and then broadcast or when it senses the broadcast then it triggers the payload. So this is where the Wi-Fi pineapple comes in because obviously with Pine AP that sweet we can put as many SSIDs as we want in the Pine AP pool and it's just going to go ahead and broadcast those mimicking as if it's one of those wireless networks and in this case the OMG cable isn't even connecting to the Wi-Fi pineapple. It just wants to see that that network is around. Exactly. So we're mimicking that. And then, of course, for range and also leetness, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, bring your stuff over. We'll uh, plug in a pineapple. Here we go. We'll use my balcony. <laughs> and MG shows up with a parabolic antenna. Yeah, I mean, I, I like constraints with everything I do. Maybe it, if it's the OMG cable, the constraint is size. For the antennas, my constraints were it's got to be under 100 bucks and something technically mobile that a person without a car can move from A to B. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could definitely. And, and what? Oh my gosh. Yeah, Dude, we're like going and going, we're going and going. Far. Where are we? Hang on, let's see. I don't even see. I don't even see my building anymore. Oh, there it is. We're kind of out of range. <laughs> okay, well, let's. I was let's... Just worried because we haven't gotten a ping in a while. Yeah, there oh, it is. Oh, there it is. There's a ping. So look so at that. Far how far away are we? Let me check. Let's get out of the middle I'll, I'll of the street. I'll try not to get run over while doing this. I mean, you know, Frogger is part of hacking. 766 meters. Seven? This thing's struggling. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we know that this spot right here is 766. Yep. So worst case, we can ping off of this, uh, this mail delivery truck and then just add 766 to that. That's a lot of range. It's 800. 800 meters. 800. Dude, think we can make it to the Tribune Tower? Dave, do you, do you remember how many city blocks we've gone? Maybe 12 now, or something like that. 12 blocks, and you guys wouldn't believe the RF radiation around here. I mean, you know, it's it's Oakland, it's a city. There's 2.4 wireless networks everywhere. We've maxed out the range. 1,079 meters right now. Yeah. Uh, we've crossed the kilometer threshold for, for payload triggering. I think we can do it. What do you think? Yeah, let's, let's go. By additive laser calculation, uh, 1,178 meters right now. You getting it? <laughs> this is hard. I, this is hard just to get the truck now. We've for sure gotten past the Tribune Tower. We're actually running out of street. I haven't been this excited to find Wi-Fi since an ice cave in Alaska. I'm Darren in an ice cave in Alaska looking for some Wi-Fi. And you're watching Hack Point 5. Oh my gosh, guys. One mile. <laughs> it's exactly a mile. That is insane. We did it. We did a mile, <laughs> we did it. dude. We did a mile. <laughs> That's quite the shootout. We could literally go no further because we've run out of 13th Street. This is 13th and Clay and there's a barricade in front of a federal building which I believe you're not supposed to cross. We can't even ping the building anymore because you're, you're, this is... your sight can't get it and you're still getting them. Yep. All right, so what have we learned today other than doxing Darren? We learned uh, beacons are a great way to get extra range when you're doing a blind trigger. I mean, honestly, I think that we could go so much further than a mile if we just had more room. So I think yeah. this lends itself to a follow-up shootout. But I'm also really curious what kind of cool stuff you could do using wait for present, wait for not present, if present, if not present in your payloads. So let us know what kind of creative ideas you have. I'm already getting some, some juices flowing as far as like, oh, if, if it can detect my phone and I walk up to the van. Anyway, hope that was fun. With that, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Dade. MG. And we're reminding you, trust, trust your techno lust. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.